Good morning. It's Saturday, fourth weekend in June, and um, we are feeling better. The list of jobs is enormous, and therefore Nigel is putting a couple of ready-made cucumber supports, which I will reuse later on in um, uh, supporting peas and beans, so nothing is uh, lost, while we in the future will make more of the man-made uh, hazel ones, which are much nicer. But needs must, I don't want them lying uh, and being eaten by slugs on the floor, so that's what's happening um, next to me. And behind me there are three beds, uh, or actually two and a half beds of um, broad beans, which is now um, finishing. So two of these beds will be cleared up. One had also my favorite uh, mosh too, that is going to be cleared up and replanted with succession planting. Uh, also a few jobs around the allotment, so we will be sort of taking quick clips of that and some more sowing. I can't at the moment go and, and do anything with the broad beans bed because Nigel managed to side all that side by the bee, by the, where the bees are with the uh, side and, and they are a little bit alarmed so they this is the flight path above the broad beans beds and they would and they would sting me so this is this is this is just what they it's a beautiful soil here um, and and really moist so I'm gonna save myself loads of work by planting them now here and they will get to find the moisture without oh well, that is just tragic. That is just tragic. Okay, we won't be planting this one then. What happens <coughs> when you leave everything a little bit too long? So this one is Crown Prince. Just as well, I, at least I, I, it had such a beautiful top growth. You know, look. These are ready to be potted. So, Justin, and straight away with a bit of um, and now very generous hand of. So this is the round bulby one and again
that many days was still lovely and moist. Okay, so these ones are, this is early butternut and this one is squash. So this one is going to go here, I think. Let's have a look. Lovely and moist. Yay! I could even, you know, I could almost dig with my hands. It's so crumbly. One courgette and squash's bed planted. Let me quickly show you what we've got. So it's a crown prince, Uchikikuri, Dinya, sorry, Hokkaido, Turkish turban, Turkish turban, and courgette which we saved. From this side we have a courgette, we've no idea which one it is. Then we have a squash patty pan. Then we have another Turkish turban. Then we have another uchukikuri. Then we have early butternut squash and a courgette, we've no idea which one it is. Oh no, sorry, we do. It's the round one. So as usual we slightly go off piste and we, we, we do slightly different things than we planned originally but that's how it is sometimes on the allotment, at least we can see the hives properly now. Um, I'm still hoping that maybe in the evening if we come about 6-7 we will be able to, uh, I will be able to plant the uh, bed with um, at least the kale uh, and there is always tomorrow. Unless something changes, I better get on uh, with planting some uh, corn. So I have planted all these sweet, six sweet corn because that's how much potatoes we have moved. And I'm hoping that. Um, Next week we can plant another three here and I might have to put the rest of them with the, with the courgettes and squash to um, see if they will survive or not. There is some moisture but the roots obviously need to settle down so I am watering them. Okay, so let's just have a look. I'm putting some of that compost into the pot. The melon that I have is um, Emia. I'm just going to check how much and he the melon is actually quite long already. So really we need to start securing them. I think this one is the biggest one. We're thinking, we're thinking from the root. It's not root bound uh, yet. It's nice and moist. It hasn't been really dried up. But anyway, I'm just gonna it starts to have side shoots and I don't really want them. I keep the label there. So 
so I'm just gonna fill the pot up. It's a quite rough compost from Lidl, multi-purpose, but it's you know it really has some. Um, it's not terribly fine or sure will do the job just fine. Uh, time to put that melon inside and give some sort of support. Both flower beds need a little bit tidying up. These wallflowers are going to seeds. That is probably a little bit late for me to clear this up, but I'm going to and plant some dahlias um, maybe during the week doing I'm gonna be pl uh, cutting off the the seeds bits and leave the rest of it because they have another year in them um, they can be perennial if I remove the seed heads so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm trying to make sure that they bush up from this place onward if this is just a seed head then I will remove the whole thing and that will also allow lots of other plants to thrive. So that looks now better and I, can, I have a bit of space to plant cornflowers and other things I have still to plant. So I watered the melon in and I ran a string around the frame and I'm hoping to be able to attach the melon into that string. Let's see how that goes. Look at these babies. Let's have a look. Yeah, day or so, and we'll be picking them. I planted a mixed bed of brassica, which at this end are mainly kales and um, purple kohlrabi and God knows what is at the other end maybe some broccoli and maybe and some um, also Romanesco uh, broccoli now I am a bit upset that's why I didn't film it because I was really very cross I had whole cold frame of of them and this is the reminders whatever was left because everything else has been eaten by a slug. Slugs in this weather? Well, what can I say? So, um, well, there is a lonely bean here. It's just, I'm waiting for it to mature a little bit so I can pull that out. And and uh, anyway, the, the plants have been watered in and I'm just gonna cover them so we don't have any more surprises. Um, and let me just very quickly chat to you about what else I'm gonna, uh, so this month, as well as a few more brassicas for another bed, I, I suppose. So directly, I just had to deliver of those big pots, which are so invaluable and I use so many of them that I needed a few more and I think that's probably it. I've got three, I think, varieties of um, carrots here, um, maybe four even, so maybe four pots. I do one of each and we see then compare. So what do we have? I have the Harlequin um, and I do have the Amsterdam Forcing. Um, so June, July is the last direct sowing on these. Uh, and this one is, let's say it's to May. So maybe I want to do that, the Charisma. So I'm going to do ch Chantere in, instead. Uh, Chante, Chantere Red Core. So these three I will be doing Amsterdam forcing sorry Amsterdam no Amsterdam forcing yes the charisma no okay 
the um, parsnips, Christmas parsnips. So I'm going to be doing tender and true and white gem and also uh, direct uh, spring onions. So this is North, North Holland blood red and white Lisbon and um, some rab broccoli directly. So this is a, a thicker parsley, which is kind of in between parsley and parsnip. Um, it's got a parsley on top and it's got a lovely root, almost like this more than parsley. Very sweet, very tender and uh, very sort of Central Europe, uh, European thing. I planted some last year and unfortunately mice have eaten all of them. So it must be good. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a big pot of that and hopefully put it somewhere they can't get to. So um, also some uh, putting more mixed salad um, and I will try, may, uh, that might be, may, may, might be, well I might do, put some um, in a shade somewhere l as an experiment, a little bit of um, a little bit of spinach and see if we get some um, things which I will put in probably in in in, in some sort of cells uh, or or strips or um, you know not to be sown directly. I had my sweet pea uh, sweet um, the most to sweet horizon arrive. Um, uh, also the pea shiraz which I did last year. We will be sowing that. Um, another one uh, will be doing some more dwarf yellow bean and um, and there is purple queen some more maybe of that and um, berlotto bean uh, as well um, now the problem I have anything I plant at the moment because it needs to be watered is a problem uh, so we try to, um, I'm sort of, even if we had two good days of rain, that would sort the allotment out for us. But I am reluctant to do more if I can't get everything going. The other thing I would probably, uh, would I will definitely do, because I love it, and we love it, is, is a, uh, Nigel does very lovely dish, it's a risotto with radicchio and uh, chorizo. So I will be planting some more, sowing some more rad radicchio. And well, that's the, the end of another long weekend in the <laughs> allotment. Mainly from my point of view, hacking back stinging nettles from around the bees and everywhere else. Um, and Margosha's been busy planting. I'm sure she'll tell you what. Well, so. We have planted um, um, the, the squash and courgette bed. I've planted some um, sweet corn um, as a trial um, in the sort of more open uh, side of, and they like to be kept in a sort of wind-free environment, but it is very windy. Um, they looking okay today but let's see how they progress i still have quite few to plant during the week uh what else did i do i planted the mixed um, um brassica bed which this is very disappointing that so many of them have been munched by the um uh, slugs uh, and um i've reported melons and they seem quite happy i will put a picture of uh, how happy the melons are with the sort of very much um, improvised support um, and the aubergines look good and I think the maybe first fruit being set uh, because the stem is getting a, a little bit thicker but I just spotted some white fly on them so we're gonna have a war on wild a, a white fly soon <laughs> Um, because we are getting ready to look after uh, um, the bees today, we're going to do inspection on all four hives, so that's quite a bit of a uh, job in itself. Um, we'll probably finish earlier. Um, and obviously, um, I gave you gave you the um, plan for the current sowing, and 
Um, that's it really. Okay. Me. So it's goodbye for me. And it's goodbye for me.